the narcissistic grandmother. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand things related to narcissistic people, how to cope with it, how to get away from it, and how to transform your life. So the narcissistic grandmother. So understanding that she at this point in her life is really, really good at the role she's playing. She is either the matriarch or the victim of the family and she controls and conducts everything from that position. So even if your parent is a narcissist, so say you have a narcissistic grandmother and a narcissistic mother, you have to remember that that narcissistic mother is also under control of the narcissistic grandmother. So think how much power that has in a family dynamic. So here's some examples of things the narcissistic grandmother might do. Pretty much everything's about her. Everything points back to her. Everything revolves around her. You need to drop what you're doing to go and serve her or speak to her or take care of her. You can expect all holidays or family gatherings to be a headache and crazy chaos when grandma's involved because, because she will make the whole thing about her. She will direct and conduct the way it goes or she will play victim to get her way. So the narcissistic grandmother needs to be needed. Remember, she needs the narcissistic supply. And as she's aging, she may not have that same supply that she once had when she was younger from whoever it is she's trying to attract attention from. She may not have it in a marriage or she may not have it in friendships any longer. And as she ages, she's going to need to pull it from the fresh and young crop of people in her life, like her grandchildren. So some ways that she will make you dependent on her or she'll give financial gifts or she'll support financial means in order to keep you under her control. Narcissistic grandma will do things to ensure that she has an important place in your life and that you need her and that you're dependent on her for something. But then at the same time, the things she's doing, she's conducting how it's done and she's controlling the way things are. For example, if she is offering childcare to you and you are her child, right? So she'll take that child and be not only a narcissist to you, but a narcissist to that child. She'll control how they think, how they eat, what they're told. She'll give them information that's almost alienating towards you, who's the parent. She will force her will on the child, whether it be through forcing them into activities they don't want to do or telling them what's good and bad about themselves or anything she basically did to you as a child, she's going to continue to do to her grandchildren, believe it or not. Or she'll spoil the heck out of them and not do any of that stuff while she's criticizing you, the parent who is her child, right? So she will triangulate in those grandchildren in order to continue to hurt her child. So you see, there's nothing about the narcissistic grandmother that makes her a safe, happy granny, okay? This is a toxic woman who is now in a second generation of controlling and manipulating her grandchildren, as well as the whole family. So narcissistic grandmothers tend to be highly sensitive to anything that they find offensive. They will often, just like any narcissist, have a reaction to things that they see as criticism toward them, but it's with a grandmother, often it's the tiniest little things. Anything that means she's lost control, anything that means you're not doing exactly what she wants, she will see as offensive and she will come after you with words that create guilt, shame, and any reaction in you she can get that either alters your behavior toward doing what she wants or creates so much shame that you grovel or you feel bad. You know what I'm saying? She will not let it go. There are no boundaries with narcissistic grandparents. They will do things with the grandchildren that are against the parents' wishes. They will manipulate how the grandchildren think. Invite themselves over and into your life or into their children's life, who are your parents, and influencing the way the family dynamic works. They are influencing and harming their children, whether it be your mother or father, which means that your mother or father are under the stress of a narcissistic person trying to parent you at the same time. So you see, she is controlling things from afar and spreading that narcissistic toxicity from generation to generation. The thing about it is setting boundaries with a narcissistic grandmother, yeah, good luck, right? But it's kind of the only way. If you're an adult with a narcissistic grandmother, then you 
are at the age where you're able to do this. Hopefully, if you have children, you're trying to set the boundaries for them and teach them how to set boundaries with this toxic grandparent. It could be things as simple as, no, I can only talk on Sundays at four o'clock. Or, yes, I hear that you would like me to come over. I'm not able to do that until two weeks from now. It's setting your life as your priority and offering things to her with boundaries in place, whether she likes it or not. There's all kinds of ways and all kinds of reasons you'll need to set boundaries. So this is something to work individually towards so that you can create a healthy life with a low contact version of grandma around, or, you know, there's always no contact.